let's get started here. Hey, what's going on guys? Jolt here, and today we're going to be doing the Lone Creek Custom DLC in Borderlands 1. Now, it's been a long while since I've done a custom playthrough, and mostly the reason is a lot of these DLCs are kind of... They don't work very well. And uh, thank God we got a second win there. Uh, let's go ahead and clear out these guys real fast. It looks like we have to do that for the mission, so let's go ahead and complete that. And yeah, so the story of this custom DLC is Hyperion found this beautiful paradise, and I'm going down quite a bit here. Let's not die. All right, let's go ahead and kill these guys off first, then I'll tell the story of uh, this custom DLC and uh, all the stuff about it. Uh, yeah, we got a lot of badasses over here. That's not good. Okay, we died. <laughs> Bad start. Okay. So I'm going to be using my pistol Mordecai build. I like this one. It's pretty fun to use, and you know, it's not that... What? You? Hello? There we go. My bullets are going through him. I don't know if you guys saw that or not. Uh, and I won't be using any modded items or gear or anything like that. I kind of want to have it have a vanilla feel to it. So I'm not going to be using any of that stuff. Alright, finish this guy off. I should be aiming for those crits. I don't know why I'm not. Some guys over here. Why? What? They're underwater? Oh, uh, by the way, this map is a little bit buggy. Uh, you can't complete the whole story. There's uh, a little bit of a glitch to it. And you're not even supposed to be underwater at this point until you get farther in the story. So I'm going to go ahead and avoid going underwater. Uh, but... What are you doing? I don't know if I've ever seen that before. That's got to be custom, right? That is so cool. Good job, Claptrap. <laughs> Interesting. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm kind of just rambling on, I'm sorry about that. So anyways, the story of this DLC is Hyperion found this beautiful paradise off the, the coast. And they decided to dump all the dead Claptraps they killed over here. And upon doing so, one of them actually survived and uh, built civilization here uh, with other Claptraps, rebuilding the Claptraps. And uh, starting a new little, little life over here. And uh, that's basically the story, and there's a little bit of a story quest to it too, which we're going to do today. And I will go ahead and say already, I did play through this once, and the reason is because there is no waypoints, and it's super easy to get lost, and uh, you just have to look around quite a bit to find out what you're trying to do. And it's very confusing, and you'd just be running around for a long time trying to figure out what to do. So, so you can see here, we killed the bad guys, and now we have to turn on the juice. And that's the power. And you can see on my mini-map, uh, or the bar at the bottom, there's no waypoints. So I don't know where to go. That's basically uh, why this map is a little bit confusing. Because you don't know where you're going. And you kind of have to look all over the place to find out what you're doing. And we have a ton of chests in this uh, DLC too, which is pretty cool. And so we'll go ahead and hit on the power here. There we go. And go talk to the Claptrap. So yeah, this is a custom DLC. Um, this is not on PS3. You can see I have PS3 buttons. Uh, I'm doing PC with a PS3 controller, or PS4 controller. Uh, so that's why it looks that way. So we'll turn that in. And we have a Skag's Delight. Kill Skag's for profit. We can do that. And yeah, you can see this DLC is very beautiful. Uh, well made. I mean, a lot of custom stuff going on here. Uh, there's a couple Easter eggs, a ton of hidden chests. Uh, I think there's some references to some stuff or something like that. Uh, I'm not positively sure. So we'll just continue on here. Uh, and by the way, my build, we have the Fury. Very good pistol. Uh, Defiler, Anaconda, Justice, just all of the elements. Uh, Gunslinger, pretty much perfect. Transfusion, the Rose. There's my spec. And uh, I'm maxed out on my proficiency. Okay, so next up we have to kill these skags, so we'll go ahead and use fire here. And try not to miss. Got some guys over here too, yep. But yeah, this, this DLC is pretty well made, I'm kind of upset it didn't get finished. Uh, because it is a very good DLC, there's a lot to it. Custom missions, uh, some custom enemies I think too, if I recall. A lot of secrets and stuff too. And uh, this was made by Apple Guy, so I'm going to go ahead and link his YouTube below. Um, and now, he's the guy who made this map, and he didn't release a guide or anything on it, so that's why it was so difficult to finish, uh, you know, finding out what to do on the quest line. So, um, I did talk to him a little bit, 
and uh, I get some hints on what to do, and I found out that you can only go so far in the story before it kind of bugs out, so... So you can see here we have to retrieve a mother's board, and uh, I looked everywhere for it the first time I tried going through this DLC, and it turns out it's just right over here. Yep, not very noticeable, but we got it. And now we have to repair a uh, claptrap, which is this way. Alright, so yeah, there's a lot of secrets. We'll go ahead and try to show you, or I'll show you a few that I found. Um, I probably don't know them all. What I've heard, there's also a barrel order you have to shoot these barrels in to get an easter egg, and I couldn't figure it out. It's not the same as uh, the main story one. I think the main one was yellow, blue, green, orange, or whatever it was. I don't know. There's not even orange. What am I talking about? Uh, it was yellow, green, blue, red. But that doesn't work, so. Okay, this guy's all fixed up. Oh, there's a chest here, by the way. Didn't see that. And nothing. That's okay. Oh, I'm falling. And I believe this guy will open up a chest, a uh, secret chest, so we'll go ahead and follow him. Oh, yes. Yeah, come on. There we go. Cool. And we got... Eh, not the best stuff. And every uh, red chest or lance chest will also be randomized. Um, as in, this could be a lance chest or it could be a red chest. It just depends on how it loads into the ga into the game. So, and now we go back to claptrap. Hey, buddy! All right, we live. So now we have to get some power and communication. So now we'll be heading to the next area. It's a very beautiful map, and the water is actually a custom thing they added to this map. Uh, it, it actually has ripples. Uh, ripples, I should say. I think it does, doesn't it? Could have swore it did. Maybe I didn't install it. But basically, the water would shake when I uh, shoot it. And technically, we're not supposed to go underwater yet, so we'll go ahead and wait. Until uh, later in the story when we're supposed to. Next up, we're going to a little town, and it's going to be filled with bandits. And there's a ton of guys here, too. That's why I'm going to go ahead and sit back and take them out. Okay. This guy. I am so bad. There we go. Uh-oh. Okay, back up a little bit. Go, cool, cool. Where'd that guy go. Oh, there he is. And the cool thing about Mordecai is I can ignore shields completely with the trespasser skill, uh, which is this skill right here, and uh, pretty much go straight for the health. I don't have to worry about taking down shields. Uh, let's go ahead and go for some Unforgiven here. As long as we can hit some crits, we should be fine a lot of damage. Yep, it's a good amount. Okay. You get killer shots too after you get a kill skill, which can do a lot of damage. My aim is not very good. I missed that about Borderlands 1 is the gore. They don't really have that in Borderlands 2, which is kind of sad. Alright, get a kill skill to activate that. And oh, he's dead. Okay, cool. And there's a lot of guys over here. Alright, I gotta be pretty careful. I'm taking too many hits. Problem is, they keep shooting me and causing me to flinch. So my aim's a little bit off. There we go. One shot, I love it. That was 20,000 damage. You can actually hit damage cap on this, uh... This game with this build, which is pretty cool. Okay. Thought I saw a guy over here. I should probably follow my radar and see where they're at. Okay. 
Okay, good, good. Let's push in a little bit. Not too far. Alright, this guy, really? Come on now. There's a guy over here. Not anymore. And that's not good. I did not hear that guy. I must be deaf. There we go. Beautiful. Alright. Get some health back. We're kind of low. Throw some Bloodwing out. He'll actually make the, the enemies drop items for some extra healing. I think I have that skill, don't I? Uh, I think... Oh, no, I don't. Okay, never mind. Alright. And now, a lot of people ask me why I don't up upload uh, Borderlands 1 as much anymore. And the reason is, a lot of stuff is, like, most of the game's already been discovered. So, getting new stuff, like, to discover about this game is not very common. And, uh, so, it's just, I don't know, when it comes to content, I'm pretty precise on getting new stuff up. Like, not a lot of people have actually uploaded this map. I think a few people have. I know Handsome Jack Boy's done a playthrough on it. Um, there might be a couple others, but, uh... Not a lot of people have covered this content, which is kind of why I want to do it. And custom content is really fun, too. You can do a lot of stuff with it. Uh, it just adds more to the game. Alright, let's see here. There's a lot of enemies here, by the way, too. Holy moly. Got him. Got him. I think we're good now, right? There might be a few over here. Yeah, that's the spider ants. Okay, so we cleared up the area pretty well. Let's get some health. Alright. So the next part, we're supposed to find a power coupling, and this is probably one of the most frustrating parts of this mission, because you don't have a waypoint, and I looked for so long before I found this, and it turns out this one hut over here can be walked into. Only this hut. It's like, who would have known that? Like, really, I don't know. Like, none of the other ones work. You can't go through there. It's just one hut, and you might think, oh, well, there's this uh, flag on it. It's different from the others. Uh, some of them have that flag, too. I don't know. It's just kind of cheesy. I thought that was kind of uh, annoying to figure out. All right, good, good. Get that guy. And now we have to restore the communication. So I'm going to go ahead and finish off these guys first. Alright, let's go uh, Rambo on these guys. I don't want to sit here and pick them off from a distance. It's taking too long. Fury out. There we go, you're dead. You're dead. I'm de almost dead? Okay, let's not do that. This is one of my favorite machine pistols. It's so good. And as I say that, I'm about to die. There we go. Alright, let's get some health back. I should have specced into some of the health skills. This guy needs to stop. Stop it, bro. Okay. And, uh, we should probably get some of those chests, too. I've been kind of passing up a few of them. Alright, let's back up now. Still quite a few guys over here. Alright, we're about to go down. Yep. There we go. Get some more health. Alright, let's back up. So, I think there was a few chests in this area. Uh, there was one over here, yep. So, we'll grab that, check it out. Oh, he's over here, jeez. There we go. Uh, nothing good. Not bad, but nothing good. I believe there was some over here, if I recall. Uh, no, that was, oh, it was over here, right, right. I only played through it once, and that was about a, a week ago, so I kind of forgot a few things. I believe it was over here, right? Yeah, over here. There we go. More loot. Nothing that great.
And I actually found this, which I thought was kind of cool. This is actually a really nice little secret. Uh, you can actually go through this rock, crouch through here, go up here, and up here. And you can see there's a chest hidden over here. There's a couple, actually, I think. Yeah. It's a very nice little hidden chest. No legendaries yet. I think there was one more over here, if I recall. Yeah. Go ahead and grab that. Hey, legendary. Blast hammer. That's very nice. That's a good weapon. Get back through here. There we go. Cool, cool. I also installed some graphic mods to make it look a little bit better. Or better. I took away the black lines and I also added the field of view changer. Uh, a lot of people were really not digging the standard field of view. Um, but I was kind of used to it because I played console when I first got this game. So I was like really used to it. It was nothing like uh, too annoying for me, I guess. But I don't mind the field of view, it's kind of nice, after playing Borderlands 2 for so long. Alright, so now we have to go back and restore communication, uh, which is way back here. Because this part got me for a while too, because I kept proceeding forward, uh, trying to figure out where to put this uh, computer chip, or the power. And it turns out you have to go back to the start. It's right here, yep. See, it's like, how would you know that? That's kind of... I don't know. I don't think that's kind of creative. Uh, that happens too. Sometimes it'll pop up the same stuff again. You just back out of that. Civilization. Let's go. So now we have to go to the city. And, uh... Find the others. So the city's a little bit more uh, forward here. Okay. But yeah, the way this map was made, it it's just it feels new, you know? A lot of the a lot of the custom DLCs are old stuff put together into a, a map and it doesn't feel like new. It feels like you're playing a lot of the same vanilla stuff again. But the way this map was made, mixing like Jacob's Cove with a uh you know, clear skies and just the layout and the, and the custom water stuff too is it's pretty cool. I like it. It's different. It feels new. Like a whole new DLC. There we go. Oh, it's a lot of uh, super bads over here. Alright, we gotta be careful here. Okay. Let's resort back to here. And go ahead and pick him off with the uh, anaconda. Alright, this isn't working out too too well. I don't know, spider ants are just a pain to deal with, because you have to hit their, their crits to do the damage. Their shells really don't take any damage. Yeah, maybe we'll just go ahead and... Yeah, let's just go ahead and jump in there. Might be a bad idea, but whatever. We'll see what happens. Ah, does someone splash damage? Good, good. Get this guy, hopefully. There we go. Cool. And then this one. I think this is the last. Yeah, it's the last super bad. Push him off. Ooh, that hurts. Yep. Stay right there. There we go. Oh. Come on. Jeez. That was close. Alright, there's one more. There he is. Got him. Alright, cool. Oh, hey. Not bad. Yeah, also when you melee with melee with the field of view, you'll get this uh, standard field of view for a minute. Kind of annoying, but whatever. Alright, here's the city. They got a barrier, so you can't get through. Kill Helob and uh, King Arakab. 
And they're right here. These guys are really tanky too, so they're kind of difficult to take down unless you're at close range. Right, this is a really good pistol build too, and you can see here the damage is pretty good, and it still takes a lot to kill them. Alright, get this guy. Oh, he melted. That works out. Alright, let's go to the city. Hey, we have access. Also, check this out. If you're too far away, it uh, closes off, and when it closes, it opens up. I think that's kind of cool. I like that. And now we're in the city, and there's a lot of chests here, so we'll go ahead and uh, gra grab a few of them. Not too many, but... Here's the next quest we have to do. Yeah, check this one out. It's like, who would have known that? I don't know, it's just kind of... I guess I would have known it, because I found it. I think this opens up, yeah. There we go. Not bad, not bad. I think there's one up there, yeah. I can't remember if there's any over here. I no, they were, they were on the roof, I, mem I remember, yeah. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get up there. How do I get up there? I forget. I think I jumped off this building. Yeah, there we go. thought oh yeah, yeah yeah it was over here i remember it's like the way they hit these chests are just it's crazy beautiful i think that was it from over here yeah okay and so this is actually the final mission you can't complete it uh, I did try to complete it using uh, Willow Tree, which is kind of like Gibbed uh, for Borderlands 1. Um, and what happens is it ends up crashing. Like you complete the quest and it will crash the game when you start it up. Because I don't know, it's not registering uh, being completed. Which kind of stinks, but whatever. Yeah, there's one back here. And eh, nothing. I think there was one more on the roof here. I think it's... Yeah, it's up there. I think there's a back entrance or something. Yeah, here we go. Uh, was that how you do it? Or you go over here? Oh, you go over here. Okay. A lot of parkour. There we go. Cool. Alright, what do we get? Okay. And, uh... You're supposed to be able to get up to this bridge for the story. But there's no actual entrance to get up there. Unless you, like, grenade jump or something. So, we'll go ahead and start the mission here before we do that. Uh, because you're not supposed to go any farther than, uh... From this mission. So yeah, you can see the mission objectives are really vague. You can't really tell what to do. And this is where we're allowed to go underwater. So you get an air tank. I think it's one of these, right? Yeah, here we go. You grab that. And now we can go underwater. I mean, we could already go underwater, but um, with that, now we, you know, are supposed to go underwater now. And that's actually all we can do um, for the mission. Because this next part, you're supposed to destroy a ship. But after destroying it, it doesn't actually proceed the mission. Alright, oh, there's one more over here, wasn't there? Yeah.
Very nice. It's kind of funny too that you run underwater, you don't really swim. <clears throat> so I take that, Michael Phelps. Yeah, here's the ship I was talking about. Uh, this ship appeared, and uh, you're supposed to kill the guy on it and destroy the ship, but it doesn't do anything. Alright, let's get up here. Oh, he's dead. And yeah, you're supposed to destroy this tank, um, but after doing it, it doesn't do anything. Oh, there's a chest. I didn't see this chest before. And eh, whatever. Maybe you're supposed to destroy it underwater. Let's try that. So it's right there. Okay, yeah, it doesn't do anything. But yeah, you can see that the mission didn't proceed. We destroyed it, right? Oh, no, we didn't. Oh, you can't just... Oh, you can't shoot out of the water, I don't think. That hurt. But yeah, I didn't proceed the mission. So there's a few more hidden chests. I'm going to go ahead and grab those. And I think we'll wrap it up. But yeah, overall, this uh, this mission was pretty fun, or this uh, custom story. And I'm running faster. That's interesting. Oh, and the deeper you go in the water, the darker it gets. So it might be a little bit difficult to see. Hopefully not too bad. Yeah, overall, this custom mission was pretty cool. Uh, there was supposed to be a lot of, like, dialogue for uh, NPCs and stuff, too. But th that never got implemented, which is kind of sad, but what can you do? Alright, I think there was a chest over here. Yeah, yeah, there was one under the boat you start on. That's where we spawned. And under the boat, one chest. Eh, yeah, white launcher. Wait, is that white? Okay. Jumping out of the water looks like a pearlescent, doesn't it? Kind of interesting. Alright. Uh, there was another one, I think, way down here. This water goes on very far. I don't know how far, but uh, pretty far. So let's take a peek over here. Yeah, it's getting pretty dark now. Uh, let's see here. I, I know there's one over here somewhere. Is that it? Ah, uh, uh, something else. Oh, here's one. I think there was one more, if I recall. Man, it's really dark under here. It'd be really cool if they implemented, like, uh, custom water mobs. Like a shark or something. But that would be, like, a bunch of new work for the game, and, you know, they'd have to design an enemy and uh, new attacks and all that stuff, which isn't easy, I've heard. Uh, I don't know if I can find it. It's over here. I just went in a circle. <laughs> Whoops. Alright, let's stay on the left side. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, it's clear over here. Oh, we must be out of the bounds for the, the blue water. Interesting. Well, it's a lot easier to see now. Oh, and that's the end of the world. Yeah, you don't want to go down there. Is that it? Nope, that's a rock. And now it's dark. I think that might be it. Let me take a peek over here. Um, I see something glowing over there. Thought I did. Maybe it's just a bone. Huh. Now it's clear. Interesting. Hey, what's that over there? I see something. Yeah, what's that? I see a green light. Uh... Oh, it's the Hyperion satellite. I sat down here. I guess Hyperion dumped the claptraps on this uh, land, so it kind of makes sense. Yeah, I don't know. That might be it. What's that? What? <laughs> 
a Gearbox software game. I wonder if they took that from the, the cutscene at the main menu. Or maybe there was supposed to be a cutscene for this DLC, I don't know. That's kind of interesting. Yeah, I think I'm going to call it there. Uh, that's about it for the DLC. Um, I'm going to go ahead and link the stuff below if you guys want to try it out for yourself. Uh, like I've mentioned in the past, this is only for PC because you can only mod uh, this game on PC. And uh, you have to install Oasis, which is like the custom uh, map traveling hub. So if you want to go to a custom map, you have to have that. And then also the map itself. And I think there's instructions and stuff like that uh, down there too for you guys. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And of course, if you did, please be sure to leave a like because that'd be epic. And I'm going to drown in the bottom of the abyss. I'm dead. Okay. And yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.